Hi, my name is James Wilhite, and I am the head of product at Publica. The OpenRTB specification is an agreed upon framework for the ad tech ecosystem. Before OpenRTB came along, server-to-server -server connections required a bespoke connection between supply and demand, and everybody had to agree on what was sent on the incoming and outbound requests. This wasn't scalable, and it wasn't a great solution because everybody had to come up with a, a separate connection for all of their partners. OpenRTB 2.5 has been the gold standard for several years now, and I'm very proud to be a part of this group that has put together OpenRTB 2.6. 2.6 is a really exciting release for connected television. And one of the features that I'm most excited about is potted bidding. And to give you an idea of what potted bidding is, uh, I want you to think about your regular television viewing experience, right? You're watching your favorite show, um, and then everybody's favorite part of their favorite show comes along the, the first ad break. So you see some of your favorite brands come up, you know, one ad, two ads, three ads, and that ad break as a combination is what we're referring to as a pod. And the, the reason that it's important for the OpenRTB spec is so that we can communicate to the buyers all of the ads that are going to be playing next to each other. Um, so this wasn't really important in display where you had, you know, above the fold ads and below the fold ads and, you know, you had a 728 by 90 and a 300 by 250 and those are all individual requests, right? You get the request for that ATF, the request for the 300 by 250 and then the demand gets to choose and they normally choose based on the highest bid alone what they want to send down to the user. Um, now in connected television, we want to make sure to protect the brands for one. So we don't want, uh, you know, Ford running next to Chevy, Coke running next to Pepsi. So you have competitive exclusion. Plus, we also don't want the same brand playing over and over and over again within the ad break because that's just going to frustrate the users. So with potted bidding, we have the ability to tell the buyers this is you're going to have three ads. This is the amount of time you have to fill and we're going to hope that you're gonna be deduplicating this on its way back so that the user experience is going to be as great as it can be. It's gonna be really important for both the supply and demand side to get involved here and implement OpenRTB 2.6. Now, we made it so that it is backwards compatible with 2.5. So you can release things little by little, come out with you know, functionality for potted bidding, add in, our new content parameters do things piecemeal if you want to or you know jump right in like we're going to be doing at publica and support all of the parameters at once and be fully ready for the future of connected television with this brand new spec i suggest going to the iab tech lab website and reviewing the spec yourself it's up it's live it's ready to download so check it out look at all of these parameters one by one all of the new things that we added um, but I'd also highly suggest scrolling to the bottom of that document and looking at the samples for requests and responses that we added in there so that you can be sure that you're implementing it the right way. Um, now, I want to also mention that if you are a partner of Publica's, reach out to us. Let us know that you want to implement OpenRTB 2.6, and we're more than happy to help you with any questions that you may have so that we can get up and running as fast as possible.